Hey everyone, and welcome to One and All Kids. It's pajama weekend. It is our last week of Christmas train where we have been learning about the true meaning of Christmas. Last week, we said happy birthday to Jesus. This week, we're learning about the wise men who traveled very far to see Jesus. Let's learn. It's worship time! This is the time to sing and dance to our praise songs to Jesus. When we worship, we can dance and do the motions, but we can also raise our hands towards Jesus to tell Him that He deserves all the worship in the world. Let's sing our first song together, and if you feel like raising your hands all the way up, go for it! Praising Jesus is awesome. When we sing and dance and raise our hands up, we are showing Jesus that we love Him, but we are also showing others that Jesus is amazing. When we lift up our hands to praise Jesus, we are setting a good example of what it means to praise Jesus without feeling scared or embarrassed about worship. So let's keep on praising Him with our next song. Jesus, I listen to Jesus. He's always helping. 
Time for our special song. God gave me grass for my toes and flowers for my nose. <sighs> I see God wherever I go. He gave me hands for high fives. High five, high five, high five. He gave me breath to be alive. <sighs> I see God wherever I go. Oh, that was awesome. Let's do it again. Ready? God gave me grass for my toes and flowers for my nose. <sighs> I see God wherever I go. He gave me hands for high fives. High five, high five, high five. He gave me breath to be alive. <sighs> I see God wherever I go. That was awesome. Bye, friends. I love hearing all of you sing with such great voices as we worship God together. We get to sing some more later, but now we have a super fun story for you from Ollie. So grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. I'm Luis the Handyman, and I'm dressed up as a train conductor because I'm having so much fun with a Christmas story train. <laughs> now, we've learned a lot about the true story of Christmas, but there's one more part of the story that I get to tell you today. It's about some people who traveled a long way to celebrate Jesus. Are you ready for today's true story from the Bible? You are? Well, then all aboard the Christmas story train. On the count of three, can you say, all aboard with me? Ready? Uno, dos, tres. All aboard. ta -da! There it is. The Christmas story train is here to help me tell the true story of Christmas. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Christmas is when we celebrate that Jesus was born. God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. There were people called wise men who lived far away. They were waiting for Jesus to be born because they knew Jesus was God's son. After Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky to help show the wise men the way to Jesus so that they could celebrate him. 
the wise men knew they could follow the star to get to Jesus. Hmm, let's see if we can follow the star. Ready? Go! Oh, uh, do you see it? Oh, there it is! Wait, wait, where did it go now? Where? Oh, oh, there it is! No, it's gone again! Well, I, I don't see it anywhere! What? Where? Over there? Oh! <laughs> we found it! <laughs> you did a good job keeping your eyes on the star! Well, the wise men kept their eyes on the star too, and the star showed them the way to go. It was a long journey, but they finally got there! Hooray! <laughs> the wise men were so happy to see Jesus. As soon as they saw him, they gave Jesus gifts and worshiped him. That's what the true story of Christmas is all about. God loved us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus. And we can celebrate Jesus all year long. Oh, there's the train whistle. Let's all say thank you to the Christmas Story Train for helping us learn all about the true story of Christmas. Ready? Thank you, Story Train. Gracias. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Adios. How do you know God loves us? God gave us Jesus! That's right, Albert. Great job. Now, let's see how well we can remember our story. Friends, 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 you, friends, <laughs> we have some questions. And if you know the answers, yell them out super loud. In our story today, we met some guys from far away. Were these guys wise men? Or were they circus clowns? If they were that wise, why would they travel so far? Why wouldn't they fly? I don't know. I don't know, they probably didn't have planes. But they were <laughs> wise men. They were going to meet Jesus. But how did they know how to get there? Did they follow their GPS on their phones or did they follow a star in the sky? Hmm. They followed a star. And when they got where Jesus was, did they take all of Jesus' things or did they give him gifts? Who in their right mind <laughs> would take things from a baby? I don't know. A baby! I know. Let alone Jesus. I know, Albert. Well, thank goodness we know the story because our friends told us, but they gave Jesus gifts. <laughs> yes, Lots of did. gifts. <laughs> and they worshipped him because they knew how special Jesus was. Yes, they did. That was amazing. Good job, everyone. How do we know God loves us? Because God gave us Jesus! That's right. I love that God gave us Jesus. One way I remember that is by saying our memory verse. It comes from John 3, 16, and it says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3, 16. Oh, 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 this time, can we say our verse like super loud? Yes, of course, here we go. Everyone say our verse super loud, ready? Ready. Okay, one, one two, two, three. three. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3, 16. <sighs> that was great, everyone. You guys are pretty loud. Yeah. Now it's time for our big pause. This is a time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about this question. How do you like to worship Jesus? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Oh, I love singing personally. That's my absolute favorite. Me too. Me too. Okay, here comes our big pause. In three, two, one. Big, big pause! pause. <sighs> Fantastic job, everyone. 
Now we will close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Prayer is just having a conversation with Jesus. We can talk with him about the big things and all the itty bitty things that happen all around us in our lives every day. All right, let's close our eyes and pray together. Ready? Dear God, thank you for the true story of Christmas. Help us celebrate Jesus like the wise men. We don't have to wait for Christmas to celebrate that you love us and gave us Jesus. We can do that every day. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Hey, everyone. Now is our time for offering. Sometimes you may not feel like you have anything to offer for offering. That's okay. Jesus tells us just to give what we can. Most of all, Jesus wants us to be people who love giving things away so that it helps others know who he is. Even if you only have a little bit, Jesus loves you the same as others who give a whole lot. So talk to your parents about what it means to give your offering today. Now it's time for our last worship song. So stand up on your feet and come worship with us. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let her receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven. I love worshiping, and I can't wait to sing some more. Come back next week and invite some friends to come with you too. I love seeing my friends come to church, and the best way to do that is by inviting them. This week, try to ask a friend to come with you to church. Your parents can help you ask as well. Until next week, I want to send you out in the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Bye, friends!